What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Jane88. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Battle rap recaps, battle rap reviews, hip hop takes, album reviews, hip hop documentaries, all that good stuff going down on the channel. Stay tuned. All right, today's vlog is in regards to the URL Civil War card, which went down a few weeks ago in Raleigh, North Carolina. The card's pretty solid. First big card back on the URL stage during the pandemic. I'm gonna give it like a seven, seven and a half out of 10. There was a little too much battles for me, but I understand he wants to give everybody their fair share who's been snapping on the URL and on the app. So yeah, uh, I understand why there were seven battles on the card. Uh, and one thing too, the North Carolina crowd, they're definitely up there as far as the best crowds in battle rap. I'm gonna put Houston and California slightly above them. But yeah, those three cities, and please, please come back to New York City uh, for a main stage or some type of born legacy, uh, small room crowd. New York needs battle rap. Please smack, please smack. But yeah, I know you see me in the car. I'm actually about to go to Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness, I'm sorry, in about 10, 15 minutes after the vlog, get my swole on. Got a lot of things to do today, so appreciate y'all uh, checking me out on the fly. Now, the recaps on these battles are not in any uh, specific order. I'm just going to go what's on the top of my head. Uh, the first battle I'm going to recap is Av versus Sick. And son, this is one of the better battles in the card. Salute to Av and salute to Sick. Real Sick, he did much better than I thought he would do on the main stage. Uh, Av, let's go with Av. Av out the gate. His first round was flawless. He had some very original uh, Sick flips that I personally never heard before. Uh, he was getting the crowd back on his side. His delivery was fresh. Uh, he, it seems like he never missed a step because I know he had COVID going on. So I'm definitely glad that he recovered with COVID and he was trying to get his, uh, footing back on the, uh, small room with the caffeine because on the caffeine battles, he wasn't really doing the best to his ability. I know he had like, uh, debatables here and there. He had lost the head ice, but him and Fonz, one of the better two on twos, he definitely showed his, what he can, the level he can reach as far as his punchlines. And he showed it during this battle against real sick uh real sick let's not take anything away from real sick uh out the gate he was snapping too um his delivery was crisp and fresh also he got the crowd on the side very early and he's here to stay real sick he's definitely here to stay a lot of uh battle rappers are calling him out i know rock wants him i know dna wants him so salute to real sick for putting a Good impression on the battlers in the crowd, and he's going to get some plates, and he's here to stay. Uh, the first round, I had Av edging the battle. Not battle, I'm sorry. Av edging the round. His material was a little more creative, and it was a little more straight to the punch. Av is a rapid puncher, which definitely works for a main stage crowd, and his flow is easy to catch. So for that reason, I had Av get, definitely getting the first. Uh, the second round, same thing goes, same thing with Av. Um, Pretty much nothing changed with Ab with the uh, second and third round. Uh, Sick, in the second round, he had the uh, thing where he did the uh, beat on his chest for a punchline. That actually took the round for me due to the creativity and actually had the crowd uh, involvement in that. So that was pretty dope. I like originality and, cre originality and creativity in battle rap. So Real Sick definitely took the uh, second round. And the third round, that's when Ab, he just skyrocketed and, and it took off. Uh, to me personally, in the third round, real sick, he said he lost his voice, and you can tell he's telling the crowd to hold it down. So it kind of got him off his groove a little bit, a little bit. So yeah, for that reason being said, I have Av taking the first and third. Third clear, first debatable, real sick had the second clear. I'm not going to go into bars and everything like that in the structure because everything's on the app. I'm just giving my brief recap. So yeah, the second battle on the card, no specific order, of course, Ryder versus Don Marino. Uh, this battle is definitely much better than I expected. Both battles delivered and they show that they're here to stay this is a very important battle for both of these guys because it's showing like yo are you really url uh material um we know you guys had stumbles here and there you guys had a few losses during your career in the pandemic for the last couple years so are you guys really here to stay and they showed and proved that they're here to stay they deserve major major plates don marino's first round was super super clean salute to don marino he got the crowd hype first battle night got the crowd hype his bars were hitting. I uh, had Don Marino taking the first. Uh, the second round, uh, Don Marino, he had a little, he had some slip ups here and there. That's when Ryder catapulted. Uh, his material was clean. I really like Ryder, Ryder's stage presence and delivery, to be honest with you. Um, and he's a slept on. He slept on with the pen. He's actually one of the better pens in battle rap. He's, he's pretty nice. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, Ryder took the second for me. In the third round, I know Don Marino said in one of the spaces on Twitter that I was in that he had 
uh, sombrero. He was going to do like a whole Mexican scheme against Ryder, which would shook the building. Uh, but he's trying to improvise. So him improvising didn't really catch on with the uh, crowd. And that's why Ryder took the third. But I think of Don Marino because he spit his bars in the space, too. So I think Don Marino had that uh, sombrero and went through his scheme, especially with the crowd, how hyped they were. He would have got the battle. But I have Ryder uh, winning this battle 2-1. It's not clear, but... He definitely uh, took the battle, so salute to those guys. Uh, the second battle on the third battle, I'm sorry, is Jay the Nightwing versus Kid Chaos. Jay the Nightwing's here to stay as well. I love his delivery and how he captures the crowd uh, with his performance. Uh, because during the battle, if you're watching on the app, everybody was silent. You can hear a pin drop. You can hear somebody cough. You can hear the crickets chirping. You can hear the roaches crawling across the room. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Jada Nightwing, he's definitely here to stay. I love his stage presence. I love the way he delivers his balls, his material, his schemes. He's so creative. He reminds me of like goods and head ice mixed together. So Jada Nightwing's here to stay. Um, I have him getting the first round. I also have him getting the second round because he broke down kid chaos of his like flaws in battle rap like he's doing too much it goes over your head sometimes it's not needed which kid chaos has he did work on in this battle his setups he has as once i said before he has one of the better setups in battle rap it's not just some random put together gun bars here and there uh and he showed that during this battle um he definitely got the crowd on his side too carolina so even though he had the crowd yeah, but even though he had the crowd on his side, like they were feeling Jaden Nightwing, I guess because his delivery and his presence just overshadows what Kid Chaos was writing, which would uh, Jaden Nightwing was explaining during this battle. Uh, but yeah, uh, the winner of that battle had Jaden Nightwing winning that battle. He edged the battle. Kid Chaos clearly got the third round and Jaden Nightwing slightly edged the second and he got the first. So Jaden Nightwing, he won this battle 2-1 uh, edge. So to both of those guys go because that battle was very entertaining. The next battle on the card is... Lou Castro versus Jack Boy Maine. I personally was looking forward to that battle so, so much. But I know uh, Jack Boy Maine, he has lupus. That's a very, definitely a very serious condition. I hope everything does work out in his favor and he takes care of himself. Um, Lou Castro, pretty, he got this battle uh, pretty clear. Uh, energy was on 100. Jack Boy Maine, he snapped during the first round. You could say he kind of got the first. It's, uh, it's up in the air. But after that, you can tell he's trying to hold us together and... Lou Castro just took advantage of the opportunity and he he got that battle, man. Lou Castro, I say gentleman's 30, may be able to give Jack the first, but it's hard I have to watch that again. But salute to those guys, man, because uh they always they always give a hundred 110% every single time they're on the stage. They barely slip up, barely choke. So once again, salute to those guys. Uh the next battle on the card is Danny Myers and Tink the Demon versus Ace I mean and Swamp. My favorite battle on the card. Two on twos are lit. Always have them on every event smack. Even if it's just like a random team, it'll definitely get the crowd hype. Just my personal experience. Personal uh, opinion. I'm sorry. But yeah, Ace, I mean, and Swamp, they have the two on two uh, chemistry down. You know, uh, Swamp and Geechee Gotti, they were teammates before. Ace, I mean, I think he had uh, Cuban as a partner before. Uh, but yeah, he had one of those guys on the DMV movement as his partner. It's not off the top of my head right now. But yeah, they were capitalizing off the crowd. They even bumped Tink the Demon. Um, they had the crowd early in their favor, which is definitely needed and needed if you want to win the main stage battle. So after their first round, I was like, yo, Danny, Tink, y'all have an uphill battle. And it started to look like that because Danny had a rebuttal that fell flat and he's trying to catch himself after her. So I was like, man, <sighs> Not again, but Tink the Demon, once Danny let him cook with that dark web bar, that's when everything just switched momentums. They were just snapping the whole time that first round. After the first round, son, they were like, here, Ace, I mean, and Swamp went. They were stumbling, brought it back. Momentum was like, that door was open. And this is where Danny and Tink took advantage. Tink had the fire rounds for Ever Bar. That was fucking amazing. They were cooking. They got that, that second round clear. Third round, Ace and Swamp were breaking down Danny because they had a lot of material for Danny, not that much for Tink, saying that Danny was writing for Tink and everything like that. So they were really getting uh, Danny with the Parallel Universe, which was one of the better Parallel Universe bars. But let's stop that because Mike P already did the Parallel Universe thing with Danny with the second round, and nobody's going to do it better. So please stop that because you're probably going to lose that round. And then Ace, that's when he bumped Smack. But then... You're going second against Danny. He rebuttals. He told Tay Rock and uh, Smack, let's not get a second half. Kill the momentum. Do the laughter. Veteran move. 
crowd went crazy and that's when they stole the show danny had that aces click bar with low deluxe i'm surprised nobody caught that in the building if you watch the mad cyphers dvd because i'm heavy on battle rap since like 2001 low deluxe always rep uh, aces click fastest way to um harlem is the a train aces click he always repped that in the beginning of the battle so yeah uh for that reason being uh danny myers Danny Myers and Tink clearly took the second and third round. You can say they took the first, but with the stumble, I'm going to give it to Ace and Swamp. So yeah, that was one of the better battles. Salute to those guys. And Danny and Tink is one of the two on twos I need to see for the next double impact because them dudes is fighting. You know what I'm saying? Next battle on the card is New Jersey Twerk versus Loso. This battle was an uphill battle for Loso because Twerk is back main stage. He has the presence, idioms, punchlines, wordplay aggression special move with the madness i can snap at any moment for that reason being it was just an uphill battle for him uh, all together uh low uh twerk he had the wanda sykes bar he had the walk by faith and do drive-bys too that shook the building as well uh even though twerk's writing wasn't up to par to losos it's like a strategy game man you got to know how to play the crowd and twerk has the he knows what to say to get the crowd hype when it's a main stage room. This ain't a small room. So even Loso had, even though Loso had intricate angles and had bars here and there, you got to know what to do. In, in my opinion, you got to know what to do when you're your situation. You got to know what card to play. And even though Loso did have a, the, his best round was his third. And I kind of think he got the third. He edged the third because Twerk stopped his so short. Loso did edge the third, but it was like too late by then because the crowd was already on Twerk's side. Some people were screaming 2-0, 2-0, if I'm not mistaken. So for that reason and being, it was it was just too much for Loso, man. Loso is one of the uh, dopest battlers out there in the URL, in my opinion. But Twerk is on 100 and he's back. He got that battle, man. So Twerk, uh, clearly 2-1. Salute to those guys. The last and final battle on the card, no specific order. Mike P against T-Top. T-Top finally had a home game and he showed because he bought like 20, 30 people on the inside of the uh, on the stage. He bought the water boy, he bought the mailman, he bought his purse, his boy next door. Everybody was going, everybody was there at the battle, man. And it definitely showed. And Mike P, he was just there, I believe in one or two people. Um, he did his best to play for the crowd. A lot of people say he got 30. Mike P didn't get 30. He got the first round. He had main stage Mike, his bars were hitting. His projection is one of the best in battle rap. And he clearly got that round, man. But uh, after the, during the second round, T-Top, he bought Anderson Burris as one of the Crucible battlers. And he's on I battle as well with the whole police scheme. Like, we need to talk to the police and all that stuff. And the crowd got crazy. The best reaction in the building, obviously, because uh, Anderson Burris is from North Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. So he kind of got that. Even Mike P dapped him up. I'm like, yo, that was crazy. And so Mike P had an uphill battle with that. T-Top won that round clear. In the third round, I know Mike P was on Angry Fan, and he actually said that he spoke to T-Top and said that they wouldn't do anything personal. And then T-Top went personal, and psh, crowd was already like oohs and ahs, and they were they were going crazy over the personals also. So, I mean, damn, man. like It's like you can't win. Uh, but then Mike P even actually tried to actually do some rebuttaling in that because he went second, but you can tell like it wasn't like formulated with his material, and he just like... It just went through the round and that was it so have t-top within the uh battle uh second and third round so yeah that's the url civil war card it's sweltering it's sweltering angry fanboy sweltering here i'm about to go ahead and work out and going about my business so thank you very much for checking it out make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel more recaps more predictions more reviews peace out y'all